It's estimated that Americans spend 14.5 million hours in traffic per day. 10 to 15% of that congestion is caused by work zones. What if we could reduce the amount of time it takes to build our roads and bridges from months to days or even hours? Hi, and thanks for tuning into Lightbulb, a program where we shine the light on one particular subject, giving you a better look at the topic on hand. On this episode, we're going to talk about accelerated bridge construction. According to the U.S. Federal Highway Administration, accelerated bridge construction is a paradigm shift where minimizing the mobility impacts of on-site construction is elevated to a higher priority. It's bridge construction that uses innovative planning, methods, materials, and designs in a safe and cost-effective manner, where on-site construction time is reduced in building new bridges and rehabilitating and replacing existing ones. But what are some of these innovative methods and technologies that contractors could use to reduce on-site construction time? Chief of Structures Development at Wisconsin's Department of Transportation, Bill Oliva, could name quite a few. There's a number of different technologies, whether they're like precast bridge elements where you kind of put bridges together in chunks, or you might build a bridge next to its final location and slide it in. That would be referred to as a bridge slide. We have bridges that are built on non-conventional substructures like retaining walls, and that's referred to as geosynthetic reinforced soil, and then the self-propelled modular transports. The use of self-propelled modular transports, otherwise known as SPMTs, is growing in popularity. But that doesn't mean it's new. Sarin's worldwide leader in heavy lifting and engineered transport company has been using SPMT since the 1980s. To get a better idea of the technology, I spoke with Director of Houston Operations, Steve Sarin's. An SPMT, if you want, is a self-elevated platform trailer. That means that it can hydraulically move up and down. And because of the way it's built, you can connect different units together. So that means you can basically make any configuration you want to transport any size or any weight of cargo. When Steve says they can transport any size or any weight of cargo, he isn't lying. So we have set the world record a couple of years ago, transporting 14,000 tons. In addition, Sarans helped build the largest railway bridge in the world using SPMT. So it really does seem no project is too big for this ABC method. But why would someone choose to go to Sarans for their services? Why not build bridges the conventional way? The main advantage of using the SPMTs, other than just the time frame, is really that instead of constructing over traffic or during closures, they basically take all the construction of the bridge away from the traffic and they put it to the side. Being able to put construction to the side and minimize disruption to bridge and roadway users is huge. In fact, it's what drives most ABC projects, according to Bala Siva Kuvar, Vice President of h and an infrastructure solutions firm. Bala has studied accelerated bridge construction for years, and he even wrote a guide for bridge owners and designers called the ABC Toolkit. He said, Users of the bridge bear a cost then they have to take a detour or get stuck in traffic because some lanes are closed and every day they may be spending an hour or so more than their normal commute. So that's the cost that the users bear. Bill and his team at Wisconsin DOT calculated saved user costs on the replacement of their I-94 Rawson Avenue bridge near Milwaukee. Cost savings just for the roadway above for Rawson Avenue were in excess of a million dollars that were saved by accelerating construction. And that was just the above roadway. In total, users saved roughly $8 million due to compressing the timeline from what could have taken five months to just four weeks. Which brings me to another benefit Bala believes comes from ABC. Another added benefit is to reduce the overall construction start to finish. With ABC, you can do multiple tasks concurrently that they don't have to go sequentially. On top of saved user costs and compressed timelines, Bill says that accelerated bridge construction also reduces harm to contractors and their crews. 
We're building bridges right next to live traffic, and every day or hour or whatever, you've got thousands and thousands of people driving right past that, and contractors and construction staff working in close proximity. So if we can reduce the amount of time or the opportunity for issues to happen, that translates to big safety savings and removing the potential for accidents. At this point, we've seen several benefits to ABC methods. So why haven't more people adopted them? To be honest, it's, it's mainly a cost exercise. And secondly, it's also an idea that basically has to develop in people's minds. What Steve means is whether you're building a bridge on site the conventional way, or you do it off site, Either way, you're building a bridge, so construction costs are the same. However, if you use something like SPMTs to accelerate the build, it's more expensive. But if you consider user costs... ABC is the way to go because it's way more economic to the society as a whole to do it that way than to do it conventional way and including all those user costs. In other words, project managers haven't fully wrapped their heads around the idea that total costs equal construction costs and user costs. Bala says the latter is often ignored when state transportation budgets are small. When you have limited funding for bridges and roads and you know transportation, what they try to do is to find the low cost way of building bridges so they can build more bridges. Another reason people don't use ABC technologies is because they're just not comfortable with them. In the U.S., Steve says often contractors won't use accelerated bridge construction unless a state DOT makes it mandatory in their RFP. But it doesn't mean that will always be the case. As industry becomes more comfortable with this and, and we kind of tool ourselves to use it, then a lot of these uh, technologies may become just the default way to build stuff, whether you're in a hurry or not. Steve says that's already how contractors in Europe are operating. In Europe, even the contractors are convinced now that that's the way to go. And even sometimes when it's not mandatory by the owner, they will use SPMTs on the project by themselves because they see their own benefits onto it. And like most technologies, the more common it is, the less it'll cost. So as more owners request accelerated bridge construction and more contractors start using it with or without those requests, the cost of technologies like SPMTs will only go down, making ABC methods that much more attractive. And on that high note, I leave you for this light bulb is all wrapped up. Tune in next time as we delve into the fascinating world of computational design. And thanks to our friends at Sage for making this episode of Lightbulb possible.